Hello everyone, just a quick one from me, hopefully not too much waffling today. I want to ask some of the big questions. What motivates us to look at installing solar panels on our house, changing to an EV, getting a heat pump installed, or maybe switching up some cycling for some cycling, some walking, changing our diet, any of those things? Let's ask some of the big questions. What motivates me and what motivates you? I've long talked about some of the benefits that come from some of this kind of green revolution and green technology. They're roughly speaking, and I know there is this is kind of broad brushes, generalization, but there's environmental benefits, there's financial benefits, and there's technology technology technological benefits um, and what does that mean I've spoken about this Venn diagram that I've had in my head for a while now and I thought I should put some visualiza visualization together my tongue is really tied today and ask the question why do we do what we do and I broadly think it does come down to being green worried about money or concerned about money at all we're very enthusiastic about technology and I don't think that if we truly ask ourselves the question I don't think any of us completely fall into just one of those categories you can tell from the videos that I've shared before I've shared things that are videos that are just solely targeted at green uh, emphasis and then some at money and some at technology if I look at my YouTube analytics it's quite clear to see the ones that concern money are the ones that do well uh, technology is in second place and the green agenda is sadly in a distant a very distant last place now I, I don't necessarily believe that to be representative of everyone and I think that the especially the people who watch this channel you, you're quite likely to identify to some extent with uh, a green emphasis and worried about the environment either locally or internationally you're worried about climate change pollution air quality etc 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 um, so what does this actually mean anyway we it's hard for us to identify where we sit on this venn diagram do we overlap between technology and money do we overlap between technology and green uh, emphasis that's i shouldn't have put green on there that's a terrible way of expressing it let's move on to the next one and see if you can maybe locate someone else because sometimes when we're looking in inside internally trying to judge ourselves sometimes we can be pretty poor at that and sometimes we're very quick to judge other people so I want to ask the question can you locate your favorite youtubers green youtubers your favorite youtuber who talks about solar panels and heat pumps and electric vehicles or whatever and where would you pin them on this Venn diagram there's certain uh, EV reviewers that it's clear to see they're just they're just worried about the technology. Um, they don't really talk about the other things. There's some who just talk about the massive financial savings you can get by changing to an EV, and then there's others who only talk about the environment. There are, of course, uh, some that talk about all three, but do they talk about all three in equal measures, or do they do a little bit what I do and play to the analytics and play to the algorithm a little bit and err on the side of finances because that's the side that brings the biggest and broadest audience so you can share a greater message but maybe if you can locate your favorite environmental green technology financial youtuber on this uh, venn diagram here then maybe that is a little bit of a reflection of where you would lie because if you're interested in following their content, then perhaps you align quite closely with some of their aims and some of the things that they're trying to work towards. I don't know. This is a little bit of theory of mine. I'm really interested to have a little bit of a discussion in the comments about this and wondering if this is really if it's really relevant, if it even matters at all. Because ultimately all roads lead to Rome and does the ends justify the means? I think so. I don't think it really matters why you start off on your journey. As we've seen from a lot of people, 
early adopters into EVs, they were attracted by technology, you know, early Tesla drivers and stuff. Quickly, they realized, oh, there are big financial savings to be had here. I'm really enjoying this. Then they start broadening out, looking at the environment, perhaps looking at solar panels, now perhaps looking at heat pump and maybe the Tesla was their gateway drug. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think anything that moves us in the right direction and quite uh, quite importantly um, challenges the status quo because we are kind of creatures of habit and we don't like to push outside of our comfort zone. And so if we've got a gas boiler right now, we say, well, my whole life I've had a gas boiler and it's always worked fine for me. Why change? A lot of people are scared of change. And so if we can find any one of these three reasons that can motivate people to make a change, then it's something positive. It's the same for petrol, diesel vehicles as well. Everyone just, that's what they have in their mind. It's always worked for me. Why change? Why should I do something different? And so quite often we use the carrot of finances. Change to an electric car because you can save loads of money. Or if it's someone who's really interested in technology, we can show them screens and gadgets and data and, you know, they might be enticed by that. But it doesn't really matter, does it? Because ultimately the the outcome is the same. Whatever the motivation is, your outcome is going to be the same. And I think when we talk to other people about the choices we've made, sometimes we have to very quickly identify ah, this person is motivated financially. Let's talk to them through that lens. Let's take that angle as we talk to them. Oh, no, this person loves technology. Let's go with that thing. Or it may be someone who they just want to do the right thing for their environment and for air quality and climate change. And so a lot of these things will be very easy and quick wins and maybe they'll be hung up a little bit on the finances and technology. Um, I don't know if this is helpful to anyone. I'd love to hear your perspective. As always, well over 90% at the last check of my YouTube analytics, about 96% of you are not subscribed to my channel and 99% will not like the video and won't leave a comment. And I would love to see us grow this channel so that we can continue to spread a good positive message and go and show more perspectives. And not only that my videos will gain a wider exposure and a broader audience, so we're not just an echo chamber, but also your comments that you leave on these videos. We also see the feedback, the responses, and we get to see how your comments can also impact and change other people. And sometimes our unanimous voice through my message on the video and your supporting comments are enough to sway the opinion and the perspective of some people. So thank you very much for watching. I've asked some big questions. I just want to leave you with this Venn diagram for you to think about why do we do what we do and where are we going in the future? Thanks for watching. Until the next one, goodbye.